Hey, it's Steve Imers. This is a video I've really needed to make for a while. I've had several people ask, why, why are you interested in guardrail? You, did you work for DOT? What is it? I, it was six years ago, on November 1st, 2016, that my interest in guardrail developed. My daughter Hannah was driving north on Interstate 75. She went off the left side of the road, was returning to the road when she hit a Lindsay X light and it speared through her vehicle. Hannah was fatally eviscerated. The girl beside her walked away without a scratch. It led to a lot of questions. Um, to tell people I descended into Alice's rabbit hole. If you know Alice in Wonderland. Um, and I'm not out the other side yet. Um, I'm a guy from rural East Tennessee with 10 kids, 30 chickens, a bunch of ducks and goats. And we have hedgehogs. And I went to buy a basset hound and ended up with a coon hound somehow. Anyways, I didn't set out to get there. And I did set out to... be interested in guardrail. Um, Hannah was 17 years old, just extraordinarily talented, graduated at 15, was in college working on video production. She, um, oh gosh, when she was 16, she got a chance to work on Burt Reynolds' final movie, became friends with Ariel Winter. Um, had original artwork that was in that movie, and it's in the trailer. You can watch the trailer. That film was dedicated to Hannah's memory after her death, but um, nothing prepares you to lose a child. And Hannah walked out of our lives. I remember standing in that driveway when she left, not knowing it would be the last time I ever saw her, ever dead or alive when uh, she was speared by the guardrail it was we were left to literally pick up the pieces um, I started asking questions about a month after her crash something wasn't adding up and I soon learned she had had a product called the Lindsay X light uh, the X light had been banned in Tennessee before Hannah's crash because of other similar spearing concerns and uh, according to Tennessee DOT a lack of product support from um, the Lindsay Corporation um, I started looking deeper into roadside safety hardware and how it is regulated um, and I found a cesspool an incestuous cesspool of regulatory capture and just just this uh, bending of the rules across the entire industry. Um, started pressing for answers and just sharing what I was finding and eventually uh, every state and province in Canada and the US um, banned sales of the product that killed my daughter eventually uh, I would say I think it's every every province in Canada and most every state in the United States replaced that product with uh, higher tested mash guardrail end terminals probably an investment approaching a hundred million dollars was able to get state laws passed in Tennessee one in New York um, I was able to get language passed into federal law related to crash testing integrity while I shared Hannah's story. Hannah's story, I, I've been able to share on oh, CBS, NBC, live on MSNBC. That's scary. Uh, you're going to sound really really dumb if you get that wrong when you're live but you're also your own editor so that's nice uh 
Washington Post, USA Today, uh, just tons of affiliates around the country. NBC Washington, ABC Boston, uh, 11 Alive in Atlanta, I think Inside Edition, uh, I don't even know, just hundreds, uh, approaching probably a thousand news stories. And um, I've seen uh, some of those stories have won, at least two of them have won Emmy Awards. Uh, there's been uh, Edward R. Murrow Awards that have been won related to these stories. And just it's astonishing to see the legacy of a little girl from rural East Tennessee. And so this channel is about, um, about our journey. And also about what's going on on our roadside you know as my platform has increased i've gotten calls from all over the united states canada with people saying hey i lost my leg my son was decapitated my wife was cut in half this person was obliterated um once had a state trooper tell me hey steve i picked up the skull the cap almost like I was picking up a baseball cap I'll never forget it that's not normal it's not normal that we accept that our guardrails are slicing and dicing people into pieces uh, we have some Archie Bunkers out there who are like I just don't hit them Steve it's like grow up uh, we need to move culturally. We got, we have to get past that. If we're going to put them on the roadside, we've got to figure out a way to make them safe. And not just for people like my daughter who were in a vehicle. We've got to see what we can do to try to bend the curve. You know, motorcyclists account for 3% of our fleet, vehicle fleet, but somehow 46% of our guardrail deaths, that, that's just unacceptable. I remember in a meeting at Federal Highway, I was talking with the executive director who has since retired the uh, administrator of safety and it was almost like a callous disregard for these motorcyclists their lives matter and I think that's what drives my advocacy work I, it's not I'm not doing this for Hannah my daughter is dead and in my worldview I believe that Hannah's in heaven I don't grieve as one without hope but I do grieve I do what I do because I don't ever want to get a call from you or somebody like you again saying, hey, I what happened to my loved one? So I started this channel hoping to maybe make a little more difference, expand the platform so that we can continue to change state DOT cultures, get them to buy into this idea that Vision Zero is not a punchline. It's not something we meet about or discuss or have a party once a year about. Vision Zero, we're really going to try to move towards zero highway deaths. I hope uh, this is the first video like this. I'm going to share more. I'm going to share my why more i'm going to share some of the incredible things that have happened um interactions with congressmen and senators and the vice president and getting two presidents to speak out just uh things that i cannot explain apart from sovereignty of god it's i <laughs> i wore a white t-shirt just a couple weeks ago and my wife said Steve, I mean, she's wonderful. I'm not, I'm not picking on her. But she said, Steve, be careful. Don't buy a taco today because she knows I can't eat a crunchy taco. And somehow, somehow Hannah's story is connected and given me a platform that's truly worldwide. And that's, uh, that's astonishing. That gives you a little bit of why I started this channel and why I'm interested in guardrail. I'll try to expand on it, but that's a start.